So this might make Fouad a bit, a bit, might make us a little happy that I'm in the hospital. But uh, so I go to surgery in a half hour. Anyway, thank all you guys for looking out for me. I love you all. Um, but while they were, uh, you know, looking into his situation to get the gallbladder removed... Greg Valentino is one of the staples we have since the beginning of the bodybuilding industry. And he's one of the great people we have in him. And you know the expression that Greg always says? He goes, he's a great guy. Well, Greg Valentino himself is a perfect example of that great guy. Now, some of you may know he was admitted to the hospital a few days ago. And behind the scenes, I've been speaking to his girlfriend, to get an update for everybody on his situation and to tell you guys a little bit more about how this happened. Uh, last week, he was complaining about severe stomach pain. And in fact, he even did a podcast with Desktop Bodybuilding while he was in that pain because he's a fighter. He's strong. He still wanted to do the things that he was committed to doing. So he was admitted to the hospital uh, because of that pain. And they did some testing, and it turns out his gallbladder has stones, and it needs to be removed. What's going on, guys? Uh, I'm about to have surgery. I'm in a hospital right now. I had, a, like, a gallbladder. So I got to take out my gallbladder and everything. I've been doing interviews. I did an interview with Desktop Bodybuilding yesterday, and I did it with the worst pain you can imagine. And nobody knew. I still held it back, and I still did it for the guy, okay? So this might make Fouad a bit, a bit might make us a little happy that I'm in the hospital. But, uh... So I go to surgery in a half hour. Anyway, thank all you guys for looking out for me. I love you all. Um, but while they were, uh, you know, looking into his situation to get the gallbladder removed, his pancreas also got infected, which can happen when you have stones. Uh, also, he has E. coli, an E. coli infection. So in order for him to have surgery to get the gallbladder removed, they have to kill the infection off, and he's in on antibiotics and on painkillers to kill the pain. He doesn't like to take painkillers, but he has no choice because the pain is really bad. Um, and he's waiting for the infection uh, to go away before they can actually do surgery. But the problem is, he's also now uh, he also has pneumonia, and his lungs are, are filled with fluid. He's coughing. He's wheezing. And he's on Lasix to try to kill the fluid for that. So um, it's a tough, very, very hard situation because it seems like it's one thing after another. Uh, the infection, they have to control the infection in order to get the gallbladder removed, which hopefully um, will make him better. And um, I've been behind the scenes speaking to everybody. We all talk behind the scenes. And Lee Priest, um, he loves the guy. And I've been speaking a lot to Lee behind the scenes, and he's concerned very, very concerned. All of us are very concerned. His girlfriend, uh, very concerned. Um, he doesn't want to see visitors right now in the hospital because he's not even far from me. I wanted to go visit him, but he doesn't want to see visitors now, not even his daughter, um, because he's a fighter. He doesn't want to have people see him like this, you know. And if there's one person that can get through something like this, it's Greg, because he is a fighter. And I know how many people, how many thousands of people everywhere I love Greg and I know he can't talk much right now but you know hopefully his girlfriend can read him some of the comments in here because I know they'll be encouraging to him but uh Greg he needs our prayers um, but again I know he'll fight through this and um, let's just all say a prayer for Greg Valentino this was a pot you're already looking at Greg's ass. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long drive, wasn't it? <laughs> this is what they're like right here. Oh. <laughs> the big tip. Oh. This is the hey, 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 be careful. That's, that's from fucking... This is an upside down leg punch right here. Look, you see the, see the base of it? Yeah, Greg, your water just broke. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you see the upside down leg press? Oh, we see the pad. I got the top inside, I'll show you later. Can we do a set? <laughs> if you want to work out, we can do that shit. Would you be a mess?
I've been on TRT for over 10 years and it's done so much for my life to make me feel younger, stronger. Now, I recently signed with a company called Live Forever Health. I'm gonna put a link in my coupon code in the bio. And this company, you know, everything's been so seamless, you know, and I tested this out. You know, I would never recommend things to people unless I'm using it, unless I tested the whole process. And the process couldn't be easier. They sent me a kit to send my blood back in the mail. Uh, they got my results. We went, I met with the doctor, with the nurse practitioner. We went over my results. And then they gave me my prescription, sent me the testosterone in the mail. So it couldn't be easier. And again, this is a company I trust that I actually did the whole process with. And pricing is competitive, similar to everybody else who does it. But this is a company that I use and a company, again, that I trust.